Hi, this is Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and today we're going to continue learning about the graphing abilities of the TI-89 calculator and we're going to learn how to graph what we call piecewise functions and uh, piecewise function is something you'll learn a little bit about in algebra it's, it's not something that you probably use every day but it's one of those things that uh, if you have a need to graph one of these functions knowing how to use it in your calculator is a good thing what a piecewise function is is basically uh, a function that's that's or two different functions that are graphed on the same set of axes but over different um, different ranges in other words here if you can imagine a coordinate axis here in the screen or we'll just go to it right here here's a coordinate axis on the screen you might uh, if you were graphing a regular function x squared it's going to be graphed for all values along the x-axis it's going to plug in those values and get the y values and you'll graph your function but a piecewise function is uh, maybe you want to graph x squared, but maybe you only want to graph it for values x greater than zero. So in that case, this function would be only looking like this. It would look like half of a parabola if you defined it for all values of x greater than zero. And maybe for all the values on the other side over here, for the negative x values, maybe you wanted to graph a completely different graph. Maybe you wanted to graph x cubed or or um, or a negative x or some other graph. So basically it's one of these things where you can generate these these two functions and cause them to be graphed on the same set of axes and, and and get kind of these discontinuous jumps so you might have a line over here and then right when you get down here to the zero point maybe it turns into a parabola so again it's one of those things you, you don't use every day but your calculator can do it and so what you have to do here is go into the uh, the uh, y equals menu and input your piecewise function so what you're gonna have for every one of these is two different functions defined over different ranges of x and depending on what range of x you're in it's going to draw that particular function uh, so what we need to do is just just dive in with an example the way you input these things into your calculator is you need to use the when command when is almost like a programming command let me just go ahead and go through an example with you and then when we get done with it you'll understand completely how it, how it works go into the catalog and you want to go down to win so instead of going to W just hit W down here right and it'll take you to the W's the very first thing is win so hit enter and now you see Y equals win and it opens a set of parentheses for you so it's basically going to get you to fill in the blanks here now let's say our piecewise defined function is the following let's say that when x is greater than zero in other words on the right hand side of the graph we want to graph x squared which is a parabola but only on that side of the graph on the other side let's graph a line alright so in order